Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a wrap sweater vest. You can easily customize this to fit any body size since it's basically a very long rectangular scarf that's wrapped around the body and then sewn in the back. To do this, you'll need some soft worsted weight yarn. My small medium size took about 500 yards. You'll need a five millimeter size H hook and a soft measuring tape. By the way, I'd like to thank my good friend Eric from knitnacks.com who sent me this gorgeous crochet kit which has an assortment of goodies for all of your crocheting needs. You can find the written pattern as well as links to purchase this kit on my nastasia.com website. To begin, make a slip knot. If you need help with the basics of crochet, be sure to check out my beginner videos on YouTube. Next, chain 44 or any multiple of four to customize the size. Your chain should measure about 13 inches at this point. Be sure to add or subtract in groups of four if it doesn't. Now, do one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Chain two. Skip two chains and do one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And repeat. Chain two, skip two, do two double crochets. It's a good time to measure to ensure you are around the 10 to 12 inch width. If you double this number, this will end up as the back length of your finished wrap sweater vest. In other words, 20 to 24 inches. Now, as an alternative to the normal chain three we would do to start the next row, instead, we're going to do something different. Turn your work. Make one single crochet stitch and then chain one. This serves as a faux double crochet stitch and it makes a nicer edge. Then just do one double crochet in the next stitch. Now over this row, do chain twos over previous chain twos and do one double crochet stitch over every double crochet stitch. So you'll have chain two, one double crochet in the next two, then chain two again. And when you get to the end, do your turn, single crochet, and then a chain one. And follow the pattern again throughout this and all subsequent rows. You can see the nice edging this alternative option makes. I continued to make my wrap for a total of 84 inches. You might need to make more or less depending upon your body type. If you are fuller in the bust area, you will need a longer wrap. If you have another person or a dress form or even the back of a chair, it really helps to use it when working with this wrap. It is important to not twist this wrap the wrong way, otherwise it won't work in the end. You'll want to sew this seam where I am pinning it together. If you are more experienced with sewing and such, you can twist this seam section underneath the crisscross section in the front and conceal it nicely there. Once you sew these two ends together, you'll then want to bring this bottom part up towards the top section and sew this section together, leaving some space on both ends for the armholes. Once you sew those sections together, your wrap sweater vest will be done. Just pull it over your head and wear it with your favorite outfit. And be sure to check out the written pattern and more photos for this project on my website, Nastasia.com. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. 
And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.